Dr. Ashton here with us, as always, to walk us through what's going on with uh, certainly some updates, a lot of vaccine talk this yep. week. But let's get the numbers first that we get from Johns Hopkins University. Now more than 138.3 million cases of coronavirus confirmed worldwide. Death toll here. Cannot believe this number. Can imagine we would get to this. We're talking about 564,000 plus American lives lost to this virus. Vaccination numbers on the rise as well. CDC now reporting we're closing in on 120. 3 million adults receiving at least one dose of that vaccine. Yep, and that's 48%, nearly 48% of Americans here in the United States, which is yep. pretty incredible. American adults, I keep having to qualify myself. Yes. <laughs> it's Friday Eve, everybody. Yep. <laughs> Yesterday, the CDC held that hearing on the J&J &J vaccine. We got right. some information, but we didn't get a decision as to whether or not they're going to make that pause permanent or right. lift it. What did we learn? They're being very cautious, you guys, but they released some clinical information. So let's take a closer look because this information is interesting. All six of these cases of rare blood clots so far have occurred in women who are white. One out of six of those women were on hormones. They were taking estrogen and progesterone, which can also increase clotting risk. Half of them were obese but none had a history of clotting disorders. And I think what's important to remember, their symptoms, five out of six of them had initial early symptoms mm -hmm. of headache. Later that progressed, four out of six of them had neurologic findings like arm weakness, difficulty speaking, indicating this clot in the brain. And so no change in lifting the pause, but still some recommendations. Something came out of this about recommendations for the public. Absolutely. For the public and for healthcare providers, they are suggesting that anyone who's gotten the J&J &J vaccine in the last three weeks be on the lookout for certain signs and symptoms, a severe headache, abdominal pain, leg pain. Um, if you develop those symptoms, you should seek medical attention and absolutely tell them that you've had the J&J &J vaccine. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. We'll continue to follow that. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.